Hello everyone! Welcome back to Let's Play Bioshock 2. Sorry for the abrupt end of the last video, but these recordings are getting so long and the video file files are so big, I ran out of disk space. Couldn't record anymore. So... Nvidia. That would be why Popper's Drop has been split into two videos. Okay. <laughs> There it is. So, <clears throat> we actually left off at a reasonable stopping point last time anyway, which is good. We had learned the Drill Dash ability from researching Brute Splicers, and had finally made our way into the Sinclair Deluxe Suites where Grace Holloway is hiding out. You'll remember we need to find Grace Holloway and get a key from her to override the train lockdown so we can get to Fontaine Futuristics, where our little sister is being held. So let me just hit continue. <clears throat> Uh, I was really hoping the big sister music would go away. Oh well. Let me check my goal. Go to Grace's apartment. Sophia Lamb has suspended all train travel in Rapture, trapping you in Pauper's Drop. Grace Holloway, one of her followers, has the override key that will get you back on track to rescue your little sister, Eleanor Lamb. Grace lives on the third floor of the Sinclair Deluxe Hotel. Head there to get the override key. I don't think I'm missing anything here. Now, research. I did some research on research. If you're going for research, Master, it's very important to do all of the research on thuggish splicers here in Popper's Drop before you leave. Obviously, we got the research camera here, so we couldn't have done anything before, but Popper's Drop is the last level where you will encounter thuggish splicers. So I've already made it up to level 4, which is good. Nearly there with leadheads. Way off on Big Daddy, Big Sister, nearly there on Security, pretty far off on Brutes, but Thuggish is the one with a deadline, so it's good that it's already done. Anyway, the Splicers are dead. I think I've fully searched this area, so let's head up here. Now, I hear a camera. Let's check out this floor of the main area. Looks like the camera's up on the top floor. Nothing this way on the balcony, so let's head over here instead. Nothing here at the elevator. This staircase is almost identical, although there is a refrigerator, albeit one I can't search. This side of the balcony, we have apartment 106. Back here, we have 50 caliber rounds, an Eve hypo, and a storage crate with $8, 16 50 caliber rounds, and fresh water. Which one should I go to first? I think I'll do apartment 106 first. Inside the stove, potted meat, cream filled cake, and canned beans. In the fridge, potato chips, potted meat, and canned beans. Double O buck on the counter. There's a hole in the floor above me. 50 caliber rounds on the table. If I go all the way to the back... There's a 
me typo in the tub. Eight, ten dollars in the drawers, a first aid kit on, on top of the drawers, and a diary. A gift from Lamb. This is diary number 48 of the 100 we need to unlock Rapture Historian. Let's listen to it. I know it's wrong to feel so fine right now, but I can't seem to quit this grin. Dr. Lamb came to tell me that Ryan's finally gonna lock her up. It's gonna gut the believers, and I should feel the same. But Sophia remembered that I, that I was barren, and she asked me to take care of her baby while she's gone. Baby Eleanor Lamb, gorgeous, clever little girl. I have a child now, and it's gonna put the whole world on. Alright, let's head into this main hallway now. I inherited all of this! Don't you understand? Don't want to waste any ammo when I've got my bots tailing me. Three dollars, six drill fuel and sardines. Nothing on this main little island. Dead end to the left, over to the right, there's a little sister vent, a dead end, and a health station, which I'll go ahead and hack. Alright, now we'll head down this hallway. One eleven is locked. One twelve is locked. That's an actual corpse. Three rivets, sardines, and two dollars. One thirteen is locked. One fourteen is locked. That that one apparently is an actual corpse. 11 drill fuel and a cream filled cake. Double O buck, vitamins, and $4. 116 is locked. 115 is not. Another thuggish slicer. Two more thuggish slicers. Nothing. How do I search again? Oh well. Back here, a corpse with 750 caliber rounds, sardines and four dollars. Thuggish splicer with three dollars. A safe I'll need to hack. And an empty bathroom. So let's hack the safe. Got my bonus money, $20. Inside the safe, 40 anti-personnel rounds, a first aid kit, and $30. Alright, let's head back out to the hallway now. <laughs> A respawned thuggish splicer. Where'd she end up? There she is. Three drill fuel. Let's keep going down this hall. Here's a corpse. Ten drill fuel and two dollars. Past here looks like a dead end with just one more corpse potato chips and three dollars. I definitely saw a splicer running through here. The 
baby snatchers headed up into the hotel family. He wants me so he can get to Eleanor. Tin Daddy feels no guilt. Tin Daddy feels no pain. But we are the family and we can teach him how. That corpse has vitamins and two dollars. <coughs> Busted door, but there are rivets on the other side I can pick up. Six of them. Let's search the kitchen. Cream-filled cake, absinthe, and old Tom... Moonbeam absinthe, old Tom whiskey. Old Harbinger beer, old Harbinger beer. Potted meat. <coughs> Double O buck, potato chips, and three dollars in the stove. Over on this counter, coffee. Wait for, wait for sobriety to kick back in. this corpse. Well, he killed himself with a shotgun, but I can't carry any more double O buck. The corpse has vitamins and two dollars. Let's keep moving right through here. There's another splicer. I've seen him before. He ran away again. There's an Eve hypo in here. Not much else. You see a power to the people machine through there. Let's keep going. I can open that door. I see a bunch of... Oh. Not a bunch, just a hanging corpse. Oh, I can't get to the power to the people machine yet. Although there must be a turret through there. There's nothing else in this bathroom. Let's move along. The hanging corpse has two rivets, vitamins, and three dollars. If I move around back... Got three thuggish splicers, looks like. Three rivets and a cream-filled cake. Three dollars in canned fruit. Three dollars, five drill fuel and potted meat. I still haven't seen the leadhead that was running away, but... And I seem to have lost my security bot, pal. <clears throat> oh well. Now what's in here? In the fridge, canned beans, a pep bar, and fresh water. Drill fuel on the counter, first aid kit on the counter. In the stove, double O buck and three dollars. Alright, I'm gonna update all the saves and pause now to avoid desync. to it. <clears throat> Left or right? I'm gonna go right first. 
Haas classy clothes, nothing finer for the gentleman of discerning taste. That one we haven't seen before. Anytime it shows us water, there's usually a big sister, but I don't see one out there now. <clears throat> Here's a bot shutdown panel. Now we're rolling up on that turret I saw before. There. You can't stand up to me. I want both. Let my pal the turret handle that thuggish splicer. He's got some double O buck. And as we move into this room, shouldn't give me such a lift, monster. But I'm not as clean on the inside as the doctor. I'll take my joy where I can. Another thuggish splicer. Shredded by my turret. Three dollars in fresh water. Now let's use the power to the people machine. I'm gonna take the shotgun damage increase next. And just make note that that's the fifth out of 14 weapon upgrade stations needed for the game and for the achievement. There's yet another one. <clears throat> Down he goes, like all the others. Three drill fuel. Let's hack this one. There's another vent. Here's a corpse with four rivets and vitamins. And here's a gene tonic. Freezing drill. New tonic. Freezing drill. Leave your foes out in the cold with freezing drill. I don't think I want to equip this one. You freeze enemies for longer, and all drill attacks have a chance to freeze the target. Well... I won't keep it forever, but I like it better than shorten alarms, so I'll equip it there. Blood divides us, monster. It's blood that makes us strangers. Three dollars on that lead head. Two dollars, two rivets, and a hop-up cola on that one. You can stop this heart, bleed this old body, but you cannot end the family. And as for you, Tim Daddy, you're dying alone. Four fifty caliber rounds on the last one. Now let's snap a photo of that corpse. Uh, let's stay on this floor for now. Gene bank here. Vita chamber. And an ammo bandito. Which I'll need to hack. Looks like he dropped ar 20 armor piercing rounds and a drill fuel. Now, what do I want to buy? Of what's available here, heavy rivets, I think, are the most useful. Four times twenty-seven, that's eighty plus twenty-eight, is one hundred twenty-eight dollars I just spent. Is that right? No, one hundred eight. Excuse me. So, add one oh eight to what I've already spent. It's eighteen sixty-seven. Of the 2,000, I need to unlock Big Spender. That's nice. Well, let's head to this 
outside looking stairway first. Well, now it looks like we're nearly at a dead end, but if I hop over here... In this crate that nine dollars and seven rivets, two boxes of 50 caliber rounds I can't pick up, and a diary. Profit coming, profit going. That is diary number 49 of the 100 I need to unlock Rapture Historian. Let's get it. Now, I'm a modest man, but my piecemeal needle scams an outright masterpiece. Some slob shacked up here buys a box of syringe parts from me for twice what it's worth. He assembles them in his rat hole, and I buy back the finished product for a dime against the dollar that I'll get from Ryan. Profit coming, profit going. Old Andy rambles on about the great chain. I got people shelling out to pull it for me. Alright, let's try this half now. Can't get through that door. Over here, there's an auto hack dart, which I can't carry any more of. And then a hole in the floor, so... It's time to head up this ramp now, but before I do, let's... Update the saves and stop any desync. Alright, we're back to it. Let's head up this ramp. This corpse, two rivets, canned beans, two dollars. Apartment 216 is locked. 217 is blocked. Seven drill fuel and a cream-filled cake. I don't know who I'm looking at down there. 214 doesn't open. But here's 215. Let's go in. Got some records. A record player. In the kitchen. Andrew Ryan told me that in Rapture, it didn't matter where you came from. Bunk! Times got hard, and all our old bigotries bubbled right back up. But Dr. Lamb showed us that down under the skin, down under the money, down under our very name, we are family. Canned beans right here. Inside the fridge, Tate Merlot, canned beans, and potted meat. That looks like sardines. It is. In the stove, canned beans and four dollars. Have an Eve hypo. There's a stuffed Big Daddy with a screwdriver through its face. Potted meat on the counter, two vitamins and a Chechnya vodka in the fridge, sardines on the counter, four dollars in the stove, empty bathroom. Back here, Dr. Holcroft's cure-all. Back here, a corpse with nothing, an Eve hypo, an empty bird cage with what looks like a dead cat inside it. So I guess it isn't empty. But let's keep going. So now we've got another look into the hallway. That's a new lead head splicer. New research level reached. Leadhead Splicer Research Bonus. Acquired Tonic Thrifty Hacker. New Tonic Thrifty Hacker. Sometimes the advertised price is just a suggestion. 
Make your hacked vending machines even more valuable with Thrifty Hacker. Hacked vending prices are even cheaper. I'll take that over Scrounger. Anyway, I think that's research level 4 for Leadhead Splicers. It is. Good, I'm done researching them. That fills out two of the game's nine research tracks. That's a relief. Well, let me go search her body. Two dollars in canned beans. Now, where I came out, there's this Circus of Values machine, which I'll go ahead and hack. I got a remote hack dart and vitamins. Now, if I wanted to go shopping, I could get another remote hack dart. Why not? That was $18. I'll buy five fresh water for another 15. 18 plus 15 is 33. 34, 35. So having spent 35 more dollars, that takes me to 1902 out of the 2000 I need to spend to unlock Big Spender. Is there anything at all in the hallway? No. So I might as well keep going. Got that turret hacked. Now next to it, there's a Dr. Holcroft's cure-all. And a diary. Where has Harry gone? This is diary number 50. Out of the 100, we need to unlock Rapture Historian. Let's listen. Another day waiting for Harry to come home. I told him not to speak up against Mr. Ryan's policies, and now he's missing. Just never came home. I went by the bookstore, and all his books are gone, too. I don't know what to do. Now I have to deal with that awful Sinclair just to have a roof over my head. That was rough. Six rivets, twenty dollars, and four heavy rivets. But we shan't save the likes of you. Afraid to face the <laughs> Shotgun might have been overkill for her. Three dollars, four rivets, and fresh water. Now, of course, I'm nearly out of first aid kits. I know I left several behind me. Is it worth the backtrack? I think it is. If I can just remember where they all were. There's one inside this safe. And there was one down here by a health station that I hacked. And that might have been everything. Oh, 
Oh yeah, the present I never searched. Four rivets, canned fruit, two dollars. Alright. Let's get... Back to progress now. I rather like my fully upgraded rivet gun. Now, can I afford another first aid kit out of the Circus of Values? That's a big question. Not really. Yes, I can. Twenty-two dollars. Add that to what I've already spent. I'm at nineteen twenty-four out of two thousand. And might as well get a fresh water too. Make it nineteen twenty-seven. Alright. Now, before I was so rudely interrupted by the brute, I was going to hack this safe. Damn it. This one's tough. terrible. And so close. Got it. Twenty dollars. Trap rivet. Two Eve hypo. Eight double O bucks. Can I afford another first aid kit? Not quite. Let's explore the rest of this apartment first. Box of 50 caliber rounds. Every little fuse got it for the crown. Got him. Three rivets, three dollars. One potted meat. Potted meat, fresh water, old harbinger beer. Corpse, sardines, and two dollars. And that looks like about everything. So now I guess we'll cross the hall into 212. Although I think now I can afford that last first aid kit. Yes, I can. Spent another 25 bucks. Brings my spending total up to 1952 out of the 2000 I need to unlock Big Spender. Getting very close on that one. And I can stop tracking how much money I spend, which will be very nice. Uh oh. We have save corruption. I have to fix this glitch now. And we're back. I had to fix the glitch, which means I had to replay from my last big save. I've lost track of my spent money as a result of that, but it doesn't matter because I'm so close. I haven't unlocked any new achievements, but I did do a significantly better job. I only needed one first aid kit to deal with that brute splicer. And in addition to that, Let's see. Buy some remote hack darts and some fresh waters. So why not? I did a better job fighting him because I hit level 2 on Brute Splicer Research. Increased melee damage. Anyway, with all that done, now we're set to head in here. search this main room we're in first. Mm -hmm. 
past this collapsed stuff, what do we find? In the fridge. Canned fruit, coffee, Dr. Holcroft's cure-all. In the stove. Eight dollars. This must be where Eleanor's room was when Grace was taking care of her. There's a remote hack dart on the shelf, and on the table there's a diary. The Butterfly. This would be diary number 51 of the 100 needed to unlock Rapture Historian. Let's listen. The blue morpho bounces off the glass as I watch. I fold these paper effigies as secret badges for the faithful. The morpho caterpillar doesn't spin a cocoon. It just grows armor on the inside before the change. It is us. To wear a butterfly is to support Dr. Lamb and the family. Before long, Rapture will split wide and take wing. Imago is coming. All right. Just a cure-all in the bathroom sink. Grace's room is just up ahead. Now, she's been sending all manner of unkindness your way, so I'm not particular as to how you take that key away from her, but she's old, and this grudge against you was based on a misunderstanding. So Sinclair's message just then was... Sinclair, Grace's mean streak. Let's head on up here. There's a security camera around the corner. New research level reached. Acquired tonic deadly machines. New Tonic Deadly Machines. Ryan Industries adds even more value to your personal defenses with the Deadly Machines Tonic. Any bots or turrets you control will do even more damage to any parasites after what's yours. Deadly Machines. Your hacked bots and turrets do more damage. Now this is one I definitely do want to equip. For the duration of the game, I mean. So... That's something I'm not interested in keeping. I'll get rid of Freezing Drill for now. Well, we got her, no problem. And I think that that was Research Level 4 for security. Yes, it was. Excellent. That means that I've got three of the nine research tracks maxed out. Perfect. Now then, have I missed anything? On the splicer, three dollars in a shotgun shell. Let's head out here. All right. We're back in the main area, but we're on the top floor now. 306 is locked. That's Grace's apartment, so we'd better explore the other side first. I can see that G Holloway sign. If I head over here to the right, there's a bot shutdown panel. A couple of empty syringes that used to have Eve in them. A shotgun. A storage crate with six dollars, eight rivets, and potato chips. And a diary. What a snap. That would be diary number 52 of the 100 I need to unlock Rapture Historian. Perfect. Let's listen. And that's a hundred. What a snap. 
give Sinclair a few bucks for a load of vials and needles, then it's evenings putting these syringes together while I listen to the radio. Sell them back to Sinclair twice the price. What a racket! A few pinpricks here and there is nothing to complain about. I'm gonna be back on top soon. Thank you, Mr. Sinclair. Sucker. Alright, let's head into Grace's apartment now. We both died tonight, monster. I, because your kind has killing in its nature. And you, because there's no way the family will let you stroll out alive with that key. Let's search this room. Our new goal is find Grace's hiding place. Sophia Lamb has suspended all train travel in Rapture, trapping you in Pauper's Drop. Grace Holloway, one of her followers, has the override key that will get back on track to find your little sister, Eleanor Lamb. Grace doesn't seem to be in her apartment, but she must be somewhere nearby. Look around her room to find a clue. Nothing in the bathroom. Ah, this is Eleanor's room. Looks like she was doing algebra. Eleanor, Teddy, five, six, seven years. It's a picture of Sophia and Eleanor. Under the bed, there's a diary. Barbarism. This is diary number 53 of the 100 we need for Rapture Historian. Let's listen. I got in a fight with a dog eater today. His name is Amir, and he was picking on a smaller boy. We called a truce when his nose went red, but Mum says I'm becoming a barbarian. So I said, Eleanor, eat dog now, too. Barbarian, happy. And Mum said, they only think they're happy because they're selfish and ignorant. Hmm, Eleanor, think ignorant sound like fun. And here's a gene tonic, Keen Observer. Get more bang for your research buck with Keen Observer. Carry your analysis further than you ever thought possible. Increases research bonuses, allowing you to progress faster at research. Well, that is a great one. I'm going to swap out... Thrifty Hacker. For that and head into the next room across the hall. There's another first aid kit. Might as well max out. Empty little room here. Empty closet here. Another big daddy with a screwdriver in its face. And a diary. Failing Lamb. This is diary number 54 of the 100 we need to unlock Rapture Historian. Let's listen. Empty house. Only an echo to my name. Eleanor. Baby, where are you? I turned my back and someone took you. It happened so quick. I'm not even a half mama to you, girl. I couldn't protect you. This poster of Dr. Lamb in my room is staring me down like it knows I'm ashamed. I've always been loyal to your real mother, Eleanor. Always trusted her with my secrets. But I lost you. What will the doctor think of me now? All right. So you can see, if we remove the poster, there's the hidden switch. Goal updated. Get the override key from Grace. Let's read the goal. Grace Holloway, a follower of Sophia Lamb, has the override key for the Pauper's Drop train station. She is holed up in a hidden room at the back of her apartment in the Sinclair Deluxe Hotel. Go there and get the override key so that you can unlock the train. Before I head in there, I'm going to update the saves and pause to avoid desync. Alright, let's 
head in there now. Eve hypo in here. Nothing else, really. Window, examine. There's Grace. I know what you're here for. Go on, take it. I won't have you touching me. Dr. Lamb trusted me to care for her child. And I tried. But baby Eleanor disappeared. And then one day, I see her walking with you. Looking wrong. And when I tried to hold her, you knocked me down. Broke my jaw. So I'm ready, baby snatcher. Come on in and finish the job. Now, your call, friend. Grace is unarmed for what it's worth. Now, there's an achievement for being a good guy, so we're going to spare Grace. That message from Sinclair was Gracie's unarmed. Can't search the desk. I could kill her if I wanted to, but what are you doing? Nothing else Come in here. On, you goddamn monster. Search do the shoebox. Twelve, Twelve drill fuel, two dollars. On the desk. Oh, back here an old Harbinger beer. And of course, on the desk, the override key. The override key is right there, son. Whatever you do to grace it, don't forget why we're here. That message was... Sinclair override key. Goal updated. Use the override key to end the lockdown. You have Grace's override key, so you will now be able to lift Sophia Lamb's security curfew and get the trains running again. Sinclair is waiting back at the station. You need to return to the train station and use the override key at the console in the security booth. Let's get out of here. You're a bigger man than I am, Chief. Maybe next time she'll think twice about pointing fingers before all the facts are in. Now, let's be on our way. Eleanor's waiting. Achievement unlocked. Confronted Grace. That's just a storyline achievement. But it is achievement number 20 out of 68. And let's go ahead and take a look at it. Confronted Grace. Confronted Lamb's Lieutenant in Pauper's Drop. That message from Sinclair was Sinclair sparing Grace. Anyway, with that, let's update the saves again. And pause to avoid desync. Back to work. I get the feeling this is not going to be simple. You had me under a gun, yet you just walk away? No monster alive turns the other cheek. No monster does that. A thinking man does that. That message was Grace Holloway, a thinking man.
Well, nothing so far. Okay, I hear something now. That was nice. She's got 350 caliber rounds. Not terribly interesting to me. It's nice to be done researching security. I can just get back to hacking as fast as possible. A much stronger friendly security bot has been summoned. These early birds are custom jobs by an old friend. I'm afraid this is all I can do for now. Elite security bot. Oh, now Grace is our friend. Grace Holloway, a little help. Two rivets and potato chips on that particular splicer corpse. That was horrible. Just horrible. Three dollars, six fifty caliber rounds, Dr. Holcroft's cure all. Three drill fuel. Four fifty caliber rounds and a hop up cola. Hey, shotgun shells. Oh, I am maxed out again. That's fine. Another leadhead. Three dollars, two rivets, fresh water. Two dollars on the thuggish splicer. Three dollars in canned fruit on the lead head. Here we are back at Fishbowl. There's a brute. I knew there was one. Oh, come on! There I am mashing the tab key and my first aid just doesn't take. Well, this is why we have remote hacks, right? Shit. Of course, if I get attacked in this room, I need to worry about that first, don't I? There he is. I hear a creaking of the All right, let's search those two.
Well, that didn't go nearly as badly. I always do better on my second try, probably because I know what's coming. Three dollars, three rivets. Four dollars, eight drill fuel in a pet bar. Now let's remote hack the rocket turret this time. That just seems smarter. Let it blow some shit up. Three dollars, six fifty caliber rounds and a hop-up cola. Four fifty caliber rounds and a hop-up cola. Now let's go bag that brute splicer. A plus. That's what I like to see. No damage is even better. Let's search his body. Twenty-one dollars, thirty-five drill fuel, and a diary. Field trial number one. That's diary number fifty-five of the 100 I need for Rapture Historian. Let's give it a listen. Head back to the train station. Shut up, Sinclair! I was trying to listen to something. That radio message was Sinclair back to the train station. Let's listen to field trial number one. Survival of the fittest. That's the rule in the drop. The only rule. These numbskulls can't see the potential in leftover traces of sports boost. Armored shell. Tonics for increasing muscle mass and density. Oh, but I see the king of the jungle. First field trial of my new formula. Subject, Hartwig Leo. Right. Here goes. Sweet. Alright. Now before I do anything else, let's update the save. Both of them. And stop desync. And we're back. I'm going to pick up these trap rivets that never went off. Hit the circus of values. I can afford an Eve hypo and a first aid kit, so let's free up space for both. And now, let me look at something right quick. I have spent all my atom, right? Yes. Or at least everything I want to spend for now. Let's head back to the train platform, then. Well, sir, I don't know what to call you now. You've done more than just spare my life. You've opened my eyes. I need to put a few questions to Dr. Lamb. That message was... Grace Holloway asking Lamb about you. Let's 
keep heading back toward the train platform. Pick up some rivets off the ground. By sparing grace, do you seek to gain my trust? A feeble ruse. Your crocodile tears may poison her with doubt, but I am not so easy a mark. That message was Lamb Not Fooled. Alright, so here is the station. Oh, never mind. Bulkhead control. It's over here. Alright, let's use the override key. Goal updated. Ride the train out of Popper's Drop. Sophia Lamb's security curfew has been lifted in Popper's Drop, and you are free to continue your search for your little sister, Eleanor Lamb. Get on at the front of the train and press the lever to start it. Of course. No problem. Let's do it. Goodbye, Popper's Drop! Loading Siren Alley. Hear me, O oh ye who would murder the Lamb of God! Ye shall never reach her God! Uh-oh. We've been torpedoed. Kid, come on, wake up now. There you are. I thought you rode that torpedo into the grate hereafter. I'm in Dionysus Park now. Train cars are shambles, leaking air. Whole damn place is flooded and sealed. But there's a pumping station back there on Siren Alley, and I believe you could jerry-rig it to drain the park out. That'd let you stroll right inside. Get to those pumps, and hurry. New goal, find pumping station number five. All right. So, first, our messages. Father Wales, O ye of little faith, and Sinclair Slim Pickings. Let's look at our goal. Unflood Dionysus Park. Sinclair is trapped in the train cabin in Dionysus Park and running out of oxygen. Use the emergency pumps in Siren Alley to unflood the park and meet up with Sinclair. Find pumping station number five. You have been separated from Sinclair and stranded without your train by a follower of Lamb named Simon Wales. Sinclair is trapped in the next district over, which is completely flooded. You need to find pumping station number 5 and use it to divert the flow of water and drain Dionysus Park. Simon Wales seems to control Siren Alley. Be on guard for him or his followers. Let's check out any new help messages. Places in Rapture. Siren Alley. A hotbed of vice built on the ruins of Rapture's original masonry district. The great draftsmen, designers, and builders of Rapture once called this place home, expressing their creativity and skill in the construction of the buildings here. As Rapture society declined and the city stopped expanding, demand for new architecture dried up. The once beautiful buildings, now abandoned, became occupied by brothels, speakeasies, and bootleg plasmid distilleries. The Pink Pearl Brothel towers over Siren Alley. Pumping Station 5, responsible for regulating the water pressure throughout Rapture, can be found at the heart of the district. Following the death of Andrew Ryan, the Reverend Simon Wales constructed a makeshift cathedral there. With that all done, let's... make a save. Three little sisters in this level. That'll be our new level start save. Oh, let me make a new perma save. 
And one new quick save. And now we can call it a video. This has been Let's Play Bioshock 2. We confronted Grace Holloway and made it out of Popper's Drop only to have our train torpedoed on the way to Dionysus Park. We're still trying to get to Fontaine Futuristics, but for now we have to rescue Sinclair by finding the pump station. We'll do that next time. Until then, thank you all for watching. Bye-bye.